station, Kickin' Country, K92. So glad you could join us tonight. This is about all you can ask for in a high school game. The place is packed. It has been all night. You've got two teams with a combined record of 40 and 5 playing. Should be a good one. Dakota 22 and 0, West Carroll 18 and 5. Can Dakota stay unbeaten into the final week of the season for only the second time ever? We will see. West Carroll, the road team, and the road greens with the white and black trim. Dakota, the home team, and the home whites with the maroon and black trim. Jerry Whitney, the veteran official, standing outside the center circle, getting ready to toss it up. Eric Hinefeld and Ted McConnell on 2102 from Dakota tonight. Matt Mullins, our engineer. Tip is up. Dakota controls it. We're underway. Dakota will go from left to right. We are situated in a press box on the northeast corner, Dakota High School. Up top with it now, Brady Stuckey guarded up top by Anderson. Then Ray Horn reels it in right side. Nice hook pass to Stuckey to the basket. Yes, set up foul call. Aggressively to the hoop, the Indians right away. Stuckey goes to the left baseline, drives along the baseline, got a good pass from Rayhorn. Does a nice job protecting the basketball, bodies up against the West Carroll athlete, able to lay it in for two. He'll go to the line to shoot another. Chris Anderson, the sensational sophomore from West Carroll, picks up the foul. Stuckey to the line, one of the best of the line for the Indians. Eyes it up, puts it up, and the senior puts it in. The Indians up 3-0, starting about as good as they can. West Carroll pushes it up the court. Josh Cadu said he wanted his team to do that. Right pocket with the ball now. It's going to be number 15, Prowant. Hands it to Eric. He dribbles in, kicks it to Anderson. Elbow, right side, 17 feet away. Shot, no. Green goes for the rebound, lost it. Stop and ball reels it in. Flings it to the left side wildly. Dakota has it. And Thunder are getting back in a hurry as they set up their defense. Right wing, Stuckey from 21 feet away. Right side, no good. Rebound over the back. Tilts out of bounds, and it will be West Carroll ball. Thunder. West Carroll took that ball out of bounds after that free throw, Eric, in a real hurry. Two passes, and they had it all the way down the floor to put up their offense. I looked down for half a second, and the ball was 70 feet further than the last time I saw it. Getting across midcourt. High pass out of bounds is Darren Schneider, who doubles as the quarterback of the football team, threw that one over the head, so to speak, of his intended receiver. Oh, and Doffenbaugh the, stepped over the line. Mistake on uh, Doffenbaugh's part is he got a little bit lazy throwing the ball in bounds. He stepped over the line before he got rid of it. They don't call that enough. Inbound coming up, right side Schneider into the corner. Pro Watt to the basket, foul from behind, and one! Billy Cuddy fouled him from behind. And Travis Prowant, the junior, one of several on this West Carroll team, has a chance for the three-point play. Prowant got Billy Cuddy on his back as he went to the basket, and Cuddy took a wild swing at him. Every time you do that, you're going to get a foul called on you. Prowant's free throw up and no good. Rebound to Dakota. Stuckey has it left side. Benedetto now reels it in. Traps cross midcourt. Stuckey wasn't expecting it. Gets it left side wing on the block. Dolphin ball one-on-one. -on -one. Gets it to Rayhorn in the right corner. Gets his man in the air. Jump for no good. Rebound to West Carroll. Here come the Thunder on the run, rumbling right side. Schneider with it, middle of the lane, left side, around a defender, and foul on the floor. They're going to get Benedetto for... No, did they get Wes Carroll? Did they get him for pushing Benedetto? They did. It looked like they got him for an illegal block as they were setting a screen between the circles, and as he dribbled left, he ran into... No, now they're oh, going to call they reverse the call. That was a little confusion on our part as well as the official. Either way, I don't think it was a foul. Inbound coming up. Throw on left side into the corner with it now. Going to be Anderson around the horn. Devin Eric right side wing. Left side Schneider. Eric will shoot the three early and often. Fumbles it left side. Three-pointer. Good! Devin Eric in the house from downtown. That is from downtown. He shot that one from about 24 feet away. Nice jump shot by the 6'3 senior. Left side. Rehorn goes to town. Off the assist from Stuckey. Not at five. Here comes West Carroll up the court. Your head wasn't up that time. Up top, <laughs> Prowant looking to Eric. Right side wing, nothing out of distance. Schneider puts the moves on Cuddy, brings it back out. On the right side, fall away jumper Anderson, no good. Rebound, pinwheels. Green was boxed out nicely by Dolphinball. Benedetto has it. Green coming from behind. Benedetto goes right side, right wing, Dolphinball, right corner, Stuckey. Stuckey around Anderson, nearly traveled. Left wing, Benedetto around the defender, in the lane, running, falling, fouled. And Benedetto, if he was shooting, will go to the line. And they'll call the foul, I believe, on Green. Benedetto, they say, was shooting as the 5'9 senior guard went into the land of the Giants, did a little scoop shot, got hit and knocked down as he was shooting. He'll go to the line for two. So Jared Benedetto, the senior now for the Indians, steps to the line, first one up and good. Benedetto on the year, near 90% on the free throw line. I lied. I said Brady Stuckey was the best free throw shooter on this team earlier. He's at 80%. Benedetto is tickling 90 Pretty decent free throw shooting team is Dakota, shooting 67% as a team on the season. One more coming up now for Benedetto. Eric Simmer in the ballgame. 
He'll bring Ben Rayhorn out. Rayhorn gets a rest early. Simmer in. Benedetto's second free throw in. 7-5. to five. Dakota leads by two. Token full court pressure by the Indians. Up top of it now. Here is Anderson. Carries it down the lane. Might have hopped, skipped, and jumped, but it didn't call it. They don't need to. Basket good. Tied at seven. Smooth move going down the right side of the lane. And you'll see that tonight. Very smooth. And you got to look down your roster. Remind yourself, he's a sophomore. Right wing with it now. Dolphin ball up top. Simmer goes for the motions. Down low. Stuckey on the block. Double down. Goes around his defender. Lost the ball. Simmer has it. Right wing cutting back to Stuckey and Dakota will run half court offense. 527 left first quarter. Dolphin ball on the elbow right side. Left wing. Here's Cuddy around the defender. Back out to Stuckey. Right side wing. Around Eric who might have stuck his leg out. No call the foul on Devin Eric. And that'll be his first foul. Now three on West Carroll. Devin Eric put up his arms like he was a pulling guard. And he's wanted to do some blocking there as we have Rayhorn coming back into the basketball game. Needed a brief rest. Back in is Ben Rayhorn. Simmer back out. That'll be a rotation you'll see tonight. Cuddy will inbound. Finds Benedetto, goes to the backcourt. Another thing people don't do a lot anymore. They, they stutter when they get to that midcourt stripe. You can go back and catch that. Right wing Rayhorn. Looking, trying to get it to Dolphin Ball right block. Got him. One on one. Puts it in around Chris Anderson. Chris Anderson that time got stuck behind there a little bit. Nice drop step. Nice shot. 9-7 Dakota. Left wing pro on travel the basketball. He had it. He had a seam. Not a giant seam, but enough to kind of make it go, I should uh, and traveled. Pesky man-to-man -man defense by Dakota's great some turnovers. Reedy Yoakum is into the ball game now for West Carroll. And he will spell Chris Anderson. Yoakum a junior. As we mentioned, only about Four or five seniors on this West Carroll squad to put 17 on the varsity roster. That's encouraging. Up top, Dolphin Ball, 18 feet away. Right wing now to Benedetto. Down low, Rayhorn got bumped from behind, and they'll call the foul on Jacob Green. And that's a big foul. That's two on him, not even halfway through quarter one. Jacob Green is a little disgusted thing. He had his hand straight up in the air, but you can't shove him with the body. That's right. an old Bull Ryan trick. <laughs> <laughs> Inbound coming up. But I, neither of these guys, first game I've seen in a long time, can't where neither of the coaches are Bull Ryan disciples. We've been in the state of Wisconsin here for the last few weeks. Everybody runs the swing. We're not going to see that tonight. And by the Suki left side, he was so wide open, it's indescribable. Oh, I tell you what, West Carroll really fell asleep on the out of bounds. Right wing, Dakota leads by four. Number four, Devin Eric with it now for West Carroll. Left wing, angled to the top as Schneider steps out, runs the show, just like Devin Schneider used to do for the Mount Carroll Hawks. Right wing now. Schneider gets it to Yoakum. Pulls up in trouble. Had the lane open, but he picked up the ball. Couldn't do nothing. Left corner, Proat around his defender. Hook shot, no. Rebound, Yoakum, yes. Reed Yoakum for two. Ah, Yoakum with a nice, strong rebound as he went up between two Dakota Indians. Up top, Dolphin ball. Thought about a shot. Right wing now to Benedetto. Down low, Rayhorn. One on one with Yoakum around him. And no shot on the floor. Yoakum still gets the foul. But lost in that is a great move by Ben Rayhorn. Oh, Ben Rayhorn did a nice little dipsy doodle off the do drop step and I don't know how he got that shot to go up, quite frankly. He was way under the basket. Ball was on the floor. Dakota with the ball under their own basket. Trigger to the right of the basket. Jared Benedetto puts it to Stuckey on the elbow right side. Steps in now. Dribbles in the lane. Jumper. No. Fouled. That was very close. Yoakum seemed like he had position. Might have been a step late, though, Kent. Josh Canoe's calling for the charge, but that is the toughest call you want to make in basketball, whether to call the charge or the block. And right down by that basket, too. That's two on Yoakum. He just came in. First one up for Stuckey. Good. Brady Stuckey makes it. He's got six in the quarter. On the season, Dakota has made more free throws than their opponents have shot. One more coming up. Free throws win the game. Second one on the way. Good. He buried it in the true sense of the word. Now 13 to 9. Dakota continues to lead by four. Left wing, Schneider, left corner, Eric down low. Yoakum had Rayhorn beat, lost the ball. Dauphinball saved it right on the end line. Dauphinball coming from the weak side. Looked like that was going to, going to go sailing out of bounds. Possession to West Carroll. But good defense by Dakota in picking it up. Rayhorn up top, three point line extended. Dribbles right, hands to Cuddy. Cuddy down the lane, steps back out. Looking left, finds Benedetto. Benedetto flips it to Rayhorn. Left side, one on one with Yoakum. Spinning, going to town. No. Rebound. Yes. He tipped it back in. Dipsy doodle spin move that time by Rayhorn. This time coming from the right. Able to get her to go down. And we got a timeout on the floor. Full timeout, West Carroll. We'll take it with them. 327 left to go. First quarter at Dakota. The Indians lead 15 to 9 on Q102. 27 left to go. First quarter in Dakota. The Indians 
Lead to West Carroll, 15 to nine. Kent McConnell, and it's not like West Carroll's playing awful right now. It's just Dakota's coming out, just playing real good. They're playing real well and actually doing a nice job pounding the ball inside. Ray Horn with a couple of baskets. The first couple of shots of the night were layup. They've been doing a nice job pounding it inside. Right now, West Carroll, like I said, has not been playing badly. They just have uh, met a... Been outplayed at this point. Yeah, yeah. they've outplayed, just plain and simple. Inbound coming up. Now, they haven't played bad. They're just getting outplayed a little bit. That's a good way to put it. That's why we're in this business. Up top, Teddy Swan into the ball game for West Carroll. One of the best names in the business. He should get in the radio. Left side. Oh. Devin Eric from wow. 22 feet away. Oh, I beg to differ. That was more like 27 feet away. He let fly for a long ways downtown. Right side, Suki. Right block, Rayhorn. Under the basket. Shot no good. Rebound to West Carroll. Eric won the tip war. That's the third time in a row Rayhorn has taken that type of shot. Right wing, Teddy Swan. Down low, around Dolphin ball goes Anderson. Shot high over Ray Horn. Good. One point game. Ah, uh, now West Carroll getting into the flow of their offense and slowing things down a little bit. Our Dakota becoming a little bit more deliberate. Right wing, Cuddy. Excuse me, left wing to Ray Horn, who swarmed up top. Suki for three around. Swan. No good. Rebound fought for. Back up the court. Here comes West Carroll. Schneider busts it left side. Anderson up. Shot is. No good. Rebound, Yoakum. He's fouled by Ray Horn. When he was getting ready to go back up. Well, Rayhorn says, don't call it on me. I didn't touch him. But actually what happened when uh, when Yoakum yeah. was going up for the shot, he caught Rayhorn's knee. Mm -hmm. and that's what they were calling the foul on Rayhorn's knee, not his arm. Easy for you to say. And now we got, I don't know what we got going on. Official conference, two free throws. And I think that was what that was about. But it was over here. Yoakum's first. Is no good. Still a one-point game. Two and a half minutes left. First quarter. It's good been entertaining. Timeout. It's been very entertaining. First quarter. Josh Knuth did a good job calling a timeout, getting his troops in order, saying, calm down, we're still in this basketball game. Second one is missed. Well, Dawson by the rebound. I was just going to say, I think he utilized it well. Up top, here comes Dakota. Benedetto pounds a drum across midcourt, looking left, throwing left. Billy Cuddy there. In a corner is Dawson Ball. Up top, Brady Suki for three. Yes! Brady Suki! Continue. Pushing the ball up the floor into the thunder. Here's down low. With it is Anderson. Throws into a crowd. Jump ball called. I believe West Carroll gets the ball back. Grant Boyle emphatically calling the jump as Brian Benning wanted a foul. Jared Benedetto wanted a timeout. He, he thought maybe he was going to get it, but the official called the jump ball right away. West Carroll ball under their own basket. 18 to 14. Schneider triggers to the left of his own basket on the far side here at Dakota High School. Here's Devin Eric. He'll shoot. Up top to Schneider. So will he. Shot will not count. And they're going to call a foul. I believe they might have got Benedetto for trying to push through the screen of Leighton Metter, number 23, who's just into the game for West Carroll. Benedetto trying to get over top of it as they set up that three-point shot at the top of the circle. Two fouls on number two. Benedetto out. Kurt Gakey into the ball game now. Some players are going to get a few more minutes tonight now with the likes of Dauphinbaugh. Kurt Dauphinbaugh out for the season. And, of course, Dustin Barker's been gone since Christmas for Dakota. But they keep on keeping on. Left corner, Eric up top, Schneider down the lane, pull away, jumper is good. Darren Schneider's first basket of the night, and it's a two-point game. Charged down the lane like he was going to go all the way to the basket, but pulled up suddenly, got an open jump shot. Right side, Dolphin ball looking to get it to Rayhorn down low over his man, foul, shot will not count. He went, he grabbed it right over man number one, and they call it on, are they going to call it on, what do we got here? They're going to call it on, on the, the floor. floor. He was going up. Are they going to call it on the floor? Oh, well. Whoa. So on the floor, the fact remains that two fouls on number 22, Darren Schneider. It should be bonus. One and one. The whistles have been flying in this first quarter. Brian Benning is over there. I don't, he's either trying to take off, trying to fly. I don't know what, but now, all right, here we go. It, it is one and one. Ray Horn will go to the line. So he was right. One way or another, Brian Benning was correct. I don't think he was going to have it any other way. Well, he's going to send the free throw line, that's for sure. <laughs> You're shooting, Ben. So Rayhorn at the line now, one and maybe, two-point game, 137 left first quarter here at Dakota High School. Rayhorn's first on away, good, 19 to 16, three-point Dakota lead. Interesting in watching how Rayhorn has matured over the last couple of years. He's always been big, as he has been, but he's uh, stretched out a little bit. And the skills get a little better every year. Missed that free throw, though. Three-point game, West Carroll could tie. Right wing swan around Cuddy, but lost the handle. Up top, Eric from 24. Rebound to Rayhorn. Eric was out here shooting in warm-up from 
AT&T range. Here comes Dakota up the court, dialing one, mind you, right wing, Stuckey, now to Billy Cuddy, gets it back, got around Swan and Devin Eric. Now up to Stuckey, who's getting reached in on by Swan, gets it now right side, Rayhorn, the Geeky, back to Stuckey, right side wing, right corner, back to Geeky, swings it back out, 104 left first quarter, three-point contest. Reed Yoakum is really battling with Rayhorn underneath. Here's Stuckey, curling around the defender, goes up strong, comes down hard. Hard to the canvas and foul. There was Brady Stuckey that time and a West Carroll sandwich. Who will they get the foul on? And they're going to call it on Anderson. And that's two on Chris Anderson. And eight fouls already in his first quarter on the Thunder. Had to jump it on you there, but Reed Yoakum and Ben Rayhorn, <laughs> Eric, were just going hip to hip. They're almost like signing twins down underneath as they were jostling for position. I got you here for a reason. Jump on me when you feel like it. <laughs> 57 point, but literally don't do that. That would be bad for the broadcast. There ain't much room up here to rumble. One more coming up. Can make it a four point game if Stuckey can put this one home and up. Good. 20 to 16. I'm running out of scoring column room for Stuckey in the first quarter. Up top, Yoakum flips it right side. Metter down the lane. To the rack, left side, short. Rebound to Yoakum, and they're going to call it travel, and I couldn't see it because there was a ton of Dakota bodies around Reed Yoakum. And that's the reason that he did stutter step a little bit. I did see it. Ben Rayhorn had his big mitts up above him, so he couldn't put the ball up, and he had already used up a dribble. Stutter step, the official standing right in front of him, made the call. Yankee out, Benedetto in, 47.7 seconds left first quarter going along into the night on a Saturday here at Dakota High School we're gonna be here a while left side make some cocoa here's Benedetto to the wing hands to Suki Swan right on him so is Metter right side Suki goes up top Cuddy Cuddy swings to the left got it knocked away trying to fall back on it Swan gets it ahead here's a one on none wrapping around to the left side is Layton Metter I don't think he's right handed hand to man pressure is a little bit too much more than Dakota can handle there. They got the turnover. Here comes Dakota. 16 seconds left first quarter. Benedetto gets across midcourt. Gets a screen from Rayhorn. Might have got away with something there. Right pocket. Three ball. Too strong for Stuckey. Rebound off and ball back to Cuddy left wing. Five seconds left. Cuddy for three. Stuckey the rebound. Three, two, one. At the buzzer doesn't go. Rayhorn put back doesn't go. And the West Carroll crowd likes that defensive stand. So does Josh Knuth. We've played one quarter of Since 1975, the...